Hi guys, uh, today in this video I am going to take you through as to how you can uh, solve uh, the Xboot error. So this uh, error is very common and many of you would have come across this uh, which says uh, could not load file or assembly pgk dot uh, extensions. And so if you click OK, you will get, you'll get the uh, uh, error log over here. So this will give a uh, different details. So as you can see, uh, this is not a .NET uh, framework error. So I have already got the .NET uh, 4.0 installed. And says I uh, could not load file or assembly pgk dot extensions uh, DLA. So just in case if you don't have the .NET, uh, you can install it from Windows Features. Go into turn Windows Features on or off. And under here uh, you can see the dotnet framework i have already installed uh, 4.0 but by default uh, due to the windows updates i have the capability to install uh, 4.6 also since that i already have a dotnet framework i'm not installing it uh, so for this uh, you require the dll the links are there in the description of this video so you can uh, get the D uh, dll from the download link so copy it and uh, place it in the same folder as your uh, xboot and now uh, let me just uh, start the process again So basically the fix is nothing but uh, placing the DLL in the same folder as your uh, export application. And now let me just uh, drag and drop uh, the same set of uh, And finally, uh, the windows. So, if you see, I have got a Linux Mint, an Android x86, and a Windows uh, 10 installation file. Now, click on create, select your USB drive, and click OK. And now your uh, problem should be uh, fixed. So the USB creation process has uh, started and uh, at the end of this hopefully uh, you should have a clean bootable USB created uh, without any errors. So as I said uh, now we have got a dialog box which is a USB created successfully. Uh, check it by running on uh, QM. So now the error has been solved. The key is to have the DLL uh, and the uh, Xboot application in the same folder. So just copy the DLL and place it in uh, the same folder as your uh, Xboot application. So that's, that would uh, solve your error. So I hope uh, you find this uh, useful and informative. Thank you.